My name is Kathy Kinzel, and I play the harp. And I've been in the orchestra for 25 years. I started playing the harp when I was seven years old, so I've been playing it a very long time. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the harp. It's a very complicated instrument, and people don't get to see it very often. So I usually play the harp with my fingers, plucking the strings like this. And I have 47 strings on the harp. It's actually six and a half octaves, which is only about five or six notes less than the piano. So it's almost the same range as the piano, from high all the way to low. So the strings of the harp are like the white keys of the piano and sound like this. In order to get the black keys or the sharps or flats, we use pedals. We have seven pedals on the harp, one for every note of the scale, and each pedal changes that note on the entire harp at the same time. When the pedal is all the way up, the levers don't touch the string, and it has a flat sound. Then if I push the pedal down into its next position, it shortens the string, making natural. And if I push the pedal all the way down, the other lever shortens the string, making it sharp. So I have three different sounds for every string on the whole harp. One of the most uh, traditional sounds used on the harp is called a glissando, and it's produced by sliding your finger over the strings. What's different about a glissando on the harp and any other instrument, in, including the piano, is that we can set our pedals in a special pattern to make a chord instead of what you would hear on the piano would be uh, just a scale is maybe pretty, but the chord is even more special. Sometimes we play glissandos with our fingernails. And I'd like to play you um, a piece that uses a lot of these special sounds. This is called Song in the Night. It's written by Carlos Salzedo, who was a harpist. So he understood the instrument very well and knew how to use special sounds on the harp. I hope you've learned a lot about the harp today, and I hope you'll have a chance to hear it again, both as a solo instrument and maybe in the orchestra too. I hope to see you at Orchestra Hall in the future. Mm -hmm.